The Volvo S40 is built on a common platform with the first-generation Ford Focus 2 and Mazda 3 and differs from them in its expressive and slightly haughty design for a golf-class car, as well as more powerful engines. Moreover, by today's standards, the market fate of the model turned out to be very long, more than a dozen years on the assembly line. Unsuccessful so much would not have survived. A year after the premiere of the sedan, the station wagon debuted, which bears the abbreviation V50. At first, for both modifications, only petrol inline 5 with a volume of 2.4 liters, 140 and 170 horsepower, and 2.5 liters, 220 horsepower, with a turbocharger were offered. 2-liter turbo diesel with a capacity of 136 horsepower was put on the European versions of the Volvo S40. 5-speed manual and automatic transmissions were combined with naturally aspirated gasoline engines. Both turbo engines had a 6-speed mechanics as standard and a 5-speed automatic was also intended for the 220-horsepower gasoline engine. In 2005, the engine line was replenished with a 1.8-liter petrol 4, 125 horsepower, as well as a pair of turbo diesels, 1.6-liter, 109 horsepower, and a 2.4-liter R5, 180 horsepower. With the petrol version was equipped with a 5-speed manual, and the 1.6-liter diesel was equipped with a 6-speed manual. For the most powerful turbo diesel, only a 6-speed automatic was intended. The interior of the small Volvo is comfortable and roomy for four. The fifth, that is to say, the middle passenger on the back sofa will taste all the delights of the feeling of the elbow from his opponents. But in the front part it will be quite comfortable even for tall people. The adjustment ranges of the driver's seat and steering column are enough for both lanky and short men. But the trunk is small, and its opening is quite narrow. But under the floor is a full-size spare wheel. In Ukrainian conditions, this is a definite plus. The quality of materials and the level of performance of the interior are consistent with the brand's luxury image. The ergonomics are almost flawless. Behind the wheel will comfortably accommodate a driver of any height and physique. The main controls are located well. You can manipulate them without thinking, blindly. On expensive modifications, the volume and radio station change buttons are located on the steering wheel. True, there are also minor miscalculations. The washer for turning on the side lights and low beam is small, and it is inconvenient to manipulate it. Apparently, the rear wiper switch, located at the end of the steering column lever, is also designed for graceful fingers, but buyers of used Volvo S40 will have no complaints about its configuration. In the basic version, the car was equipped with ABS with an EBD brake force distribution system, 4, from 2007 with 6, airbags, electric windows and heated mirrors, air conditioning, heated front seats, headlight washer, factory alarm and audio system. Moreover, on the secondary S40 is more common with a machine gun, climate control, xenon headlights, an electric sunroof, a light and rain sensor. Salons of expensive options are trimmed with leather and aluminum inserts. On the Volvo S40, in addition to native power units, engines from Ford and Mazda were also installed. These are respectively gasoline fours with a volume of 1.6 liters, 100 horsepower, and 1.8 liters, 125 horsepower. Moreover, the base motor, despite being the weakest, is reputed to be the most reliable unit. He simply does not have congenital sores and occasionally occurring malfunctions are not at all widespread, the Japanese 1.8-liter engine does not bother in operation. With age, it begins to eat up engine oil, up to 200 to 300 grams per 1,000 kilometers. Therefore, its level must be monitored, since the engine will quickly become unusable from oil starvation. And the motor may not withstand a serious repair. When tightening the head bolts or main covers, the thread in the aluminum block does not withstand. Native but expensive iridium candles do not nurse even half of their resource. Therefore, you can safely use a non-original suitable for interchangeability, which costs an order of magnitude cheaper. The five-cylinder gasoline atmospherics do not have hydraulic gap compensators in the valve mechanism. They are very reliable and can go up to 500,000 kilometers before overhaul with the replacement of rings and valves. In our conditions, on all gasoline engines, the valve of the timing system changes phases. It is recommended to periodically flush it with branded liquid, otherwise diesel rattling will begin to be heard from under the valve cover, and at high speeds the engine noticeably loses power. Over time, the crankcase ventilation system becomes clogged, causing the crankshaft oil seals to leak ahead of time. Mechanical boxes are reliable. But on some specimens, after 150,000 km, the linkage of the lever becomes loose. But in the automatic machine of the Japanese company Ison, 
the hydraulic module wears out by 200,000 kilometers. After 2008, automatic transmissions have become much more durable. Suspension will not ruin the cost. In the chassis, perhaps, there is only one weak point, wheel bearings, which on average near 70,000 kilometers. The stabilizer struts also hold the same amount. Ball bearings nursed more than 100,000 kilometers. The front shock absorbers last 150,000 kilometers, and the rear ones even longer.